Good, Good morning, morning from Canada. Canada. We are in the Thousand Islands National Park and AKA today... the land of magical, wonderful <laughs> goodness. This has to be probably one of my favorite days on the loop ever. The water is crystal clear. It's like impossible how clear it is. And the weather is perfect. It's gonna be 80 degrees today. So we are gonna stay put, explore the Thousand Islands, get in the water, do some hiking. And so we just gotta join let's in. Let's go do it. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. We are here at Georgina Island, which is part of the Thousand Islands National Park. There is a dock available here, which we are paying $1 per foot Canadian. There are a few other docks on Georgina Island, and there are some hiking trails, there's sheltered areas, there's restrooms, and campfire spots. Now, the map kind of shows where those are located. Majority of them are on the other side of the island over there, and our goal this morning is to walk around and hike all of Georgina Island and get really hot and sweaty so that way when we get in the water we'll be nice and refreshed. Does that sound good with you Ollie? She's like I'll pass on the water. <laughs> Did you just eat it? <laughs> she just ran up the stairs there's leaves on the stairs and she wiped out and went into the stairs. <laughs> um, it's really neat because Yesterday we cruised on the other side of Wellesley Island, the uh, United States side, and it was all built up. All these tiny islands had a bunch of cottages on them, um, sometimes mansions, a lot of that over there. And here, a lot of it is owned by Canadian parks. And so it's kind of neat because this island, how rugged it is and awesome, is probably how all the islands looked like over there before the McMansions got built with the wealthy New York elite. So it's kind of just neat to see. You, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get to admire the amazing architecture and the awesome historical homes. And then you come across the border and you get some amazing hiking. It's fantastic. One of the other docks here at Georgina Island and there's another one over here and it's still same price the water is pretty deep it's a little bit misleading because you think that this close to shore it would be really shallow which the bow kind of our bow does get a little shallow maybe like five feet underneath us but it is still plenty of room for us and it is oh crystal clear water so if you're not as concerned as you would be maybe anchoring and docking in an area that that is not crystal clear and here is the main channel. So you'd be a little bit more exposed here with uh, crossing traffic and uh, some weight coming into the dock. So yeah. I like but you also have at. a beautiful view of the bridge, which is kind of cool. There are composting toilets available on the island. So there is camping here, so you can actually stay here, camp, use the composting toilets. Or if you don't want to use the bathroom on your boat, you can also use it here. It's like super soft. That is so cool. Ollie just took this out of the water. It's like as big as her face.
she's funny. Oh, she got it again. Wait, yeah, it's the same one. You have a strong Is that neck. a good rock? Good job. Woo! Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, Ollie. Go get it. You got Go it. it. Go, Go get, get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> up, up. Oh, get more out. Oh my gosh, and there's a pivot. Oh, there's a wild pivot. Whoa. Pivot at her local watering hole. We've almost finished encircling the island, and so pivots right back there behind these trees, but we are on the most west side of the island, and you can tell there's a lot less tree cover here, and so it's like the landscape, it feels like we're in a totally different place, a lot more rocky, the trees will just look different. It's kind of interesting, like just on one side of the island versus the other, and what grew here and what didn't. And then also, like on this side, this, this current's ripping. The heck? <laughs> like always killing some bugs. This current is insane. So this area right here we're gonna come back for a little water adventure. I'm super excited. 75 minutes and 1.7 miles. 166 feet of elevation gain. It's a nice hike. And we're back at Kvots. We just wrapped up getting a quick bike to eat. Now we're gonna go down the lazy river of the Thousand Islands. Yay! We watched um, like a family, a dad and his two sons do it earlier today. And they were having the best time ever. Canada so far just reminds us of like that like mm. summer camp vibe and what they were doing looks like summer camp. So we just gotta join Let's in. Let's go do it. So I am in a life jacket because we only have one of these throw things and we f figured that like since this is the first time that we were ever doing this, we want to be safe. So just in case. I don't expect us to go out into 100 feet of water, but anything's possible. Whoa, look at that current rip. Whoa. You go first. What? Burr! Oh, it's freezing. It is so oh. cold. You did. What? Me? Not me. I'm acclimating. Where is this? I'm losing feeling of my legs. Is that called acclimating? Oh my god. Come on. Let's go. Acclimate to where I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Picasso. I like it. Okay, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> I mean, really floating down the river. That was awesome. Let's go do that again. Ollie's barking. I guess that means she wants to come. Ollie, you're gonna wish you didn't bark. You're gonna wish you weren't coming with us. You gotta put your leash on. Leashes are required. How do I look? Ready.
Come on. Yep. Come on. Yep. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Okay, that was awesome. Let's do it again. This has to be probably one of my favorite days on the loop ever. This is so much fun and this is like why we do the loop. To experience new things, to learn how different people do things. So right now we're learning how Canadians do summer and I have to say I'm a big fan. I could get used to this. This is really nice. Good girl. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come. Let's go girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Looks good. Tonight we have like a Mexican bowl. It has quinoa, arugula, tomatoes, avocado, grilled corn, queso fresco, grilled marinated tofu, some red pepper, some corn. Yeah, I think that's it. That's what it's about. But it looks really good. Here in the Thousand Islands, beautiful backdrop. Birds are chirping, so currents ripping. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I meant bowl. Cheers. Cheers. Dessert. Grilled peaches with vanilla ice cream and honey. As we're eating dessert, we saw an otter. Hike fast, Sobley. Gotta get to the west part of the islands. Pronto. Oh, the sunset's peeking out. Probably should have chose better shoes. But Burt's, not the best hiking shoes. But pants, eh, not the best choice. Oh, we made it. Oh, wow. What a beautiful sunset. Oh, sort well, of very cloudy, but still it pretty. It is very cloudy. But you know what? You miss 100% of the sunsets you don't watch. That's yes, so. right. Boom. This one's nice. What do you think, Ollie? Yeah. Let's pop a squat. Let's pop a squat. Yeah. With a view. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. 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 Well, we hope you guys enjoyed seeing part of the Thousand Islands National Park here in Canada. Yeah. There's actually 20 islands 
that are part of the national park and then over I think 1800 islands in total. Mm -hmm. The park is the first national park that is east of the Rocky Mountains for Canada. Originally someone gave like some land, one of the islands I presume, as a gift to Canada for park purposes. So and now we get to enjoy them today. Yeah. And originally the park was the St. Lawrence Islands Park, renamed to the Thousand Islands Park. And it's just really nice to be able to experience this. We hope you guys are enjoying the first leg of our Canada adventure. Canada is magical. Good. Uh, a few more days before we start the Trent Severn, and we're gonna try to make the most of them and really enjoy them. Now let's enjoy this lovely sunset. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. The only way there won't be an adventure tomorrow is if the mosquitoes suck all of our blood. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> or the bears. There's no bears on the island. Mm -hmm.